Hello and welcome to St Augustine's High School Senior Prize given for 2021. My name is Tony Adorte and I'm the head teacher. Uh, this is just a snapshot of some of the great achievements and successes that our young people endured last year under such difficult circumstances. Before we begin get into the presentation, I just welcome you to join me uh, in saying the school prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, let us pray that there will be respect for our world, peace for its people, love in our lives, celebration of the good, forgiveness for past wrongs, and from now on, a new start. St. Augustine, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, usually we would have fanfare and we'd have a big ceremony and certificates given out. Unfortunately, with these COVID times, that's not going to happen. What we have done is made a wee extra extended tutor time and allowed the pupils to celebrate this success in their own way. Uh, so again, well done to the young people. It's not just the people on this slide, but everybody that has endured these last couple of years and such hard times and have shown such great resilience and have still managed to be successful. So well done to everybody. And if your name's not on this slide, so please do not think that that doesn't mean you've not, uh, you've not been successful. You yourself have gone through your own journey. We all have. And I want to congratulate everybody. As a new member of this community, I'm so proud joining it in such a successful community. So for now, on with the show.
so I just wanted to have a quick mention about the Outstanding Achievement Awards. We have a few trophies that are given out each year uh, to show an outstanding achievement. The first one is for Corey Fatal, uh, and that's the Warthaw Trophy. And this is for services to sport in school. Corey started to participate in karate at the age of five and very quickly progressed through the levels with her club to achieve first dan grading by the very early age of nine in 2014. Since then, Corey has been very successful in many different events and comp competitions. She achieved gold in the 45 kilo category of the Wado World Championships in 2018 and then went on to win gold whilst representing Scotland in the 54 kilo cadet category at the European Championships in Budapest 2020. Due to Corey's success in these competitions, she has gained enough points to become ranked as world number one for her 54 kilogram weight category. A fantastic achievement for someone so young. Well done, Corey. Kiara Robinson wins the Rose Doyle Memorial Trophy, and this is for hard work and de determination. Uh, Miss McKillop has written uh, some nice words, which I'm just going to read now. In the years I've known Kiara, I've been impressed with the way she, in which she focuses on her studies. Kiara is open and honest and is not afraid to ask for help and guidance. She takes all feedback on board and strives to do well in any task set. She's an enthusiastic, cooperative and conscientious pupil with a mature and positive approach to school and home study. She is organised, focused and strives to achieve high standards, qualities that have allowed her to exceed the expectations of some of the professionals involved in supporting Kiara during her early years at St Augustine's. Kiara should be proud of her academic achievements to date and is very much a positive role model for other students in the school. Kiara not only puts the time and effort into her studies, she is a responsible pupil who can be relied upon by staff and peers. It is pleasing to see her using her skills and talents to contribute to the wider life of the school. She has been a valued member of the True Colours Group. This session she is a buddy to an S1 pupil and in addition she is peer mentoring in several junior classes during her study periods. Although she is travelling from Fife for her last senior year due to a house move, Kiara is still at school at 8am in preparation for helping at Magic Breakfast. Kiara has proven herself a hard-working and honest student who is an asset to our school. She has been a credit to herself and her family during her time at St Augustine's. I have no doubt that Kiara will continue with this positive approach to all her studies this session and beyond, and I am delighted that she is the recipient of this year's Rose Doyle Award for hard work and determinations. Congratulations, Kiara. Congratulations indeed. Ruth Sodden is the winner of the St Augustine's Music Trophy and this is for service to the musical life of the school. Ruth has been involved in the wider life of the music department from S1 to S6. She has performed in countless concerts and performing on both her instruments, violin and voice, in small and large groups and also a soloist. She has also contributed greatly to religious observance and frequently sings solo or as part of the choir during Mass. Congratulations, Ruth. The Francis Boyle Memorial Quake is in recognition for outstanding academic achievement. The first four pupils listed there had straight A's in their advanced hires. The next four pupils have straight A's in their hires. Congratulations to you all. Fantastic achievement. And to the final award for this presentation. I'm now going to read a few words that Miss Crystal, our deputy head teacher, has uh, written. Monsignor Duffy, or Father Tony, as we knew him, had been chaplain at St Augustine's High School for over 30 years. The parish house was across the road from St Cuthbert's Primary School, and so he knew the pupils and families from St Cuthbert's very well. He did not, however, stop there and spent many break and lunch times with our pupils getting to know them all although he did spend longer on Thursdays when we had fish and chips. He worked with our RE teachers from supporting our S6 pupils with the Pope Benedict Caritas Award to hold an interesting question and answer sessions with S1 and S2 pupils. No question was ever too daft. 
He supported many pupils and teachers who needed counselling and always had an ear for anyone who wanted to talk. He tirelessly held weekly lunchtime masses and whole school masses for the holy days of obligation. He worked with our Lourdes group and our young philanthropists in S3. He will be most remembered for his tireless work to support below both the religious and pastoral work of the school. His gentle and understanding approach with all pupils and staff and not forgetting his famous dad jokes. For us, he has been immortalised by our own S6 art pupil, Jude Malone, who has painted his portrait for the school, which is the picture you see in front of you, a copy of which will be sent to his family. This year, the Norrie Murphy Cup for, ser for service to the school goes to Monsignor Tony Duffy. May he rest in peace. I hope you've enjoyed this snapshot of our successes at St Augustine's. I am hoping that there's going. I know that there's going to be more to come. Take care, everybody, and stay safe. Thank you.